So all we're going to want to do to pair a new Whoop device is you're just going to need to take your Whoop right here and get your phone and make sure you actually have the Whoop app, which you can get on the Google Play or App Store. Now, once you actually have the app, you simply want to open it and you'll be brought to this home screen like so, where once on the screen, you want to click on the I have a Whoop device like we have one. If you do not have one, you cannot use the app and you want to click on this button where it's actually going to bring you to the website to buy one. But we click on this button up here and you want to create an account assuming you don't have one. From here, it's basically going to allow you to actually make sure that your device is ready telling you to unbox it and charge it how you can actually charge it because you can't pair it without charging it is you need to take this little charger right here and just slip it over the top like so you can see it just slips right on and there's a green light indicating it's charging if it's not charging you can charge it with a USB-C port which we can plug into the very top right here and once it's been charging for about 10 to 20 minutes you can actually pair it to the app which how we do this is again we click on the next option and it's basically going to go in pairing mode by default you can see there's this light right here indicating that it is in pairing mode. And almost instantly, you can see that all of these wearables will pop up that are in your area. In this case, I have two loops, so that's why there's two, but you basically wanna click on the one you wanna pair. And you can see this page will pop up like so, where you simply click on the pair option right here. And as you can see, we click on the continue and we've successfully paired our loop device. And from here, you just want to create your account just by entering your email, the password we wanna be associated with, your first name, last name, your username. Click on next, and as you can see, we just just want to select the region that we actually live in click on next one more time as well as the state and as you can see you can basically connect all of your phone's data whether it be an iphone or just an android to your whoop app which will basically just show up all of your calories and steps just in the health app however it is just going to be through the whoop and we can click on next and you can basically allow that and you just want to put your birthday in right here as well as your height weight and which gender you are and then you basically want to put your credit card because they will bill you after a year to renew your subscription but you can cancel it which I'll link a video at the top of the screen or in the description on how you can cancel it if you're curious. And from here, you basically want to select all terms of service so we can actually be able to use the Whoop app. And once they've done that, it will basically continue setting up your account so that we can actually use our Whoop wearable, where it might actually offer you to upgrade your subscription plan. In this case, I don't want to, so I'm just going to click on zero and just click on next a few times and click on next a few more times. And you can see it will welcome us to the Whoop app where we can actually get a rundown on how it works and you've successfully set up your Whoop and connected it to the app. Now, if it still has not connected, you wanna to go to the more option in the bottom right corner, scroll down, click on device settings right here, where you can actually see, we can swipe over to the side advanced option and click on pair a device. You can see mine is connected because it just says it at the very top, or if you wanna unpair and swap the devices, you can do so right here.